we just had to try to find a cow. Uh, the calf named Wilbur was off up here by himself, bawling like he'd lost his mama. Uh, we found her. I think she was just trying to get away from him. It's time to wean him. He's too big. As you can see, the pigs are doing great and enjoying life. The cattle continue to do great in spite of the late summer heat and uh, drought. We'll sell the big calves here in about another two to three weeks. Those three little calves, late calves, just aren't big enough to run with the big boys yet, so they stay by themselves. This is the bull that was given to us as a day-old twin. His mother wouldn't accept him, and we successfully grafted him onto one of our cows that had lost her calf. We're gonna keep him for a herd bull. Like Louie, the cattle don't know what to think of the pigs in their area either. Younger calves love to climb on these dirt mounds. Finally got a little rain last night, so all the cows and calves coming up here after some mineral and salt. I like to do that when it's raining. Weather's turned cool after that, uh, that finally got that rain, so hopefully we'll be able to start on cleaning out the barn here in another week or two. It's got to get cool enough that all the wasps in there are kind of sedate and don't want to sting me. I don't know who appreciated this little rain we got more, the cows or me. Okay, we've got a young, one of the younger calves out here with that respiratory problem, so we've got to give it a dart of medicine. Ready to go. You saw me three videos ago trying to both dig a hole in this dirt and drive posts in it. Pigs have been in here three weeks. I couldn't have worked this up anymore with a garden tiller. They do a great job rooting around in it. It's amazing. Other than the rocks in it, it looks like North Missouri crop land. Since we've had so many calves with respiratory problems the past few weeks, I'm trying to check everything now twice daily because they're easy to treat in the early stages, but they can really go downhill in a hurry. So I gotta check them constantly. I've got a calf with that respiratory disease again, so I'm grabbing some medicine and the darts, and we're going to go treat it. This is getting to be an all too often occurrence this summer with this respiratory disease. I haven't had any pink eye 
at all this summer. But here the last couple of weeks, we've had uh, three or four calves, the younger calves, with this respiratory disease. So we got to keep darting them. Ready to go. stakes are doing a good job of keeping these mineral feeders in place, but I do have to drive the stakes back down every couple of weeks. Uh, so we're going to call it a day. Hope you tune in next week and we'll start working on cleaning out this old barn. Mm -hmm.